So, Doctor, what happens during a stroke and what causes it? So, first of all, there's like two types of stroke, as the video pointed out. So, the most common types of stroke are ischemic strokes, mm -hmm. right? So, basically, it's when a blood vessel in the brain gets blocked. That causes basically lack of blood flow to that part of the brain. And basically, with that, you know, the brain will suffer like ischemia and an infarct, basically, where the cells in the brain will die. So, th that's the most common type of stroke. The other type of stroke is the hemorrhagic stroke, which basically can be from a bleed in the brain, from high blood pressure, or sometimes from brain aneurysm that ruptures or other types of hemorrhage in the brain. So talking about the most common type of stroke, which is ischemic stroke, they may have like the, the different like types of like cause for it. And they usually related to the cardiovascular, you know, prevention that we always hear, you know, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Uh, there's some other types of strokes that basically diabetes, other types of strokes that cause come from like heart problems such as atrial fibrillation. And that's actually one of the most common strokes that we need to treat with catheter treatments because the blood clots when they form in the heart and if they leave the heart they actually a lot of times end up going to the brain they cause what we call like a large vessel occlusion so those are the vessels that usually we really need to get there very quick and go up with catheters usually through the groin or through the arm and remove that clot that's blocking the blood flow in the brain and when we unobstruct the blood vessel, the blood flow is restored, and that brain, you know, part of it always dies because, well, you know, when the vessel is blocked and the, the, the blood flow stops, the cells in the brain start to die immediately. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do, the fast, the reason why you need to go that as fast as possible is to decrease the amount of brain damage that will happen. So most of the patients, if they get there very fast and we can open the vessel successfully, they will do very well, even with a small stroke.